Grayson Waller. Grayson Waller effect. What is the Grayson Waller effect? I think the Grayson Waller effect is no matter what room I'm in, no matter what I'm doing, all eyes are on me. Everything's about me. People have been following you around the room. You're doing a lot of press, yeah. uh, shaking hands, kissing babies, all that good stuff. No? No, no, Maybe no, no. not that. No. I, I wouldn't say that. Like, I have to be here. I'm okay. obligated to be here. I'm doing my job. But I think everyone here knows that if you want a headline, you come to Grayson Waller because I'm not going to give you the stereotypical answer. Oh, I'm so happy to be here. I'm so excited to be at WrestleMania. So excited to be in Hollywood. Oh my gosh, I'm wrestling. Like, that's not me. I'm real. I think everyone else here is fake. Okay. Uh, Grayson Waller effect. Are you familiar with Rexon effect? No. What, no. what exactly is that? They made that song Shake Your Rump. It's no. a different kind of. No. no, I think we might be on um, different, different wavelengths with this. Okay. Yeah. Butterfly effect. Um, you a fan of the butterfly effect? No, I think, look, like I already knew looking at you that we had like different interests, different understandings of like kind of thing. So maybe we're just operating in different lanes here. You don't like movies? Never seen it, never okay. seen it, no. You should, w once you have some time, you should take I'm gonna be honest with you, like I'm, I'm probably not going to. Like I have a very good life. I have an Australian accent in America. There's a lot of pretty women in America. So I'm probably not gonna watch the butterfly effect. Just letting you know. What's like your pickup line? Or do you need one? I don't need one, Do you one, just say, man. hey? I just talk whatever. G'day. Okay. I pretend the arc goes as Australian as possible. It's a beautiful thing. Okay. The Ben Franklin effect. Are you familiar with that? No. Okay. It's pretty much paying it forward, random acts of kindness. Okay. Would you, you think you would do that? No. No? No, no, no. I don't, that's no. not, nah. What do I need to do that for? Okay. Uh, you, 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 some would say you made your name on Johnny Gargano's back. Yeah, I agree. Uh, okay. I thought you were going to maybe say... The something. thing is, like, and I, and I said it this week, like, I used him. Like, he went out there and he had an opportunity to, to pass the torch. He had his last night in NXT. No one knew where he was going to be. No one even knew if he was going to come back. He had an opportunity to pass the torch and he decided to make it all about him. Did this beautiful speech. Everyone was crying. Like, So I took the torch. Because I'm not someone who's going to sit in the back. I'm not going to wait. I'm not going to complain online. I'm going to make things happen. And I, I did make my name off him. That night happened... Then all of a sudden AJ Styles comes calling. Then all of a sudden everything starts rolling. Like I'm aware that I made my name off Johnny and I will tell him that to his face. And on Saturday, like I'm going to do it again, but in probably the more extreme version. Okay. You have a match with Johnny Gargano, WrestleMania weekend at Stand and Deliver. At some point, it almost felt like Shawn Michaels maybe would step in that role. Yeah. Put Johnny in it. Uh, did you at any point think Shawn would maybe step out of retirement back in the ring? I tried my best. And uh, there was a moment where I challenged him to the match and I saw the look in his eye change. I saw his aura change. Like I saw old Sean and I thought it was gonna happen to be honest. You know, he took his jacket off. I could feel the vibe change. And I, I, I know Sean wants to, to fight me. He would love to do it. I just don't think he's in his prime anymore. And that's just what it is. So I tried my best and unfortunately, it didn't happen, but I think Johnny, me and Johnny Gargano is almost as big a match. Like this is NXT of old versus NXT of new. Like this is two generations colliding against each other. So I think this is this is probably the biggest match I could have outside Sean. Yeah, absolutely. Not taking anything away, Johnny, take over yourself. Uh, no matter what happens this weekend, do you think maybe you still want to pick that scab? Maybe you want to have that fight? Or I, 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 I did everything I could, and I think that that that's past now. I'm looking past him. I can't sit there for the next six months trying to do the same thing. Um, there's a lot of talented people in NXT. There's a lot of talented people in WWE that I want to fight. So I think my, my energy and my aura move somewhere else now. Sounds like you're ready to move on after this weekend. What's next for Grayson Waller? That's not my choice. I'm obviously ready to go if need be. But as I said, there's a lot of people in NXT that I need to show that I run that place. Like when I say it, I mean it. And when I take it from Johnny Gargano and I, I, I become what NXT is, I think there's a lot of people who are going to have a problem with that. I know a lot of people in the locker room don't like me. I know they don't like the way I carry myself. So whether I'm down there establishing myself as the best thing in NXT history or I'm somewhere else, I'm ready to go. Grayson Waller.